Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today I want to show you how to wire up simple three-way switches. So, I have some three-way switches here represented by some magnets. So let's talk about the terminals inside my three-way switch first. I have two yellow magnets which will represent my traveler screws, my traveler screw terminals, and I have two black magnets which will represent my common screw terminal which will actually appear black or at least significantly darker shade than the other two traveler screw terminals which will probably appear roughly copper in color. Now these switches of course will be mounted inside 1104 boxes and all of the connections we make today will also happen inside an 1104 box. So I have here one, two three-way switches. Of course, we need a light as well. So I'll put my light over here. My little light here. And of course, we'll have a feed. Most likely, your feed will be a 14-2 cable. Two current carrying conductors here. So my common screw here, represented by the black magnets. I also like to refer to them as um, my power distribution screws because they distribute power in a three-way switching circuit. So, in line with that, we're gonna bring power in on our common screw terminal here from our 14-2, and we're gonna bring power out as well on our common screw, and this will also be a 14-2 cable. Now, in the middle, connecting these two, we have a 14-3, three, three current carrying conductors. So, you see a red, a black, that's two of the three. The last one, of course, is a neutral. Now our neutral from our feed, which will also be included in this two current carrying conductors here, will come up into this box. And we're actually just gonna make a little moret connection here with our neutral. Now, of course, we also have a neutral in our 14.3, so that will come across between our two 11.04 boxes, and we'll make another Marek connection here with our neutral, and of course, we also have a neutral in our 14.2 from our light, so that will come down and connect as well in the box with our three-way switch. None of our neutrals ever get connected to any of the switch terminals. Those are only for the current carrying conductors that we label as hot wires, like the red and the black, so, the way this works is your power comes in on your common screw here, up through your knife blade inside your switch, and into your traveler terminal here, across to this traveler terminal, down into your common screw, up into your light, and return on your neutral. So this condition, the light is on. Anytime we hit one of our switches, our three-way switches, it changes the condition of our common screw connection, so our power is now coming in across our common screw to this traveler across and the light is in an off condition because the power stops right here. Now anytime we hit any one of these switches, we'll change the condition again, allowing power to come across our feed up through our common screw to our traveler terminal, across to our other traveler terminal, up through our knife blade in our common screw and turn our light on again. So anytime we hit one of these, it will change the condition, being able to turn it on and off from either location. This would be very common maybe in a stairwell or in a large dining room where you have two entrances. Unlike simple single pole switches that have an on or an off, this only has this traveler connection or that traveler connection. There's no such thing as floating in the middle here. You're either here or here, which is why no matter which one of these switches you turn, you'll always have an on or an off condition. Power in through my common, through the traveler, off. Either one will bridge that connection. If I hit this guy, feed in, common screw through the traveler, through this common screw to the light, and return on my neutral connection. Hopefully this has helped your understanding in wiring through a switches. Thanks again for watching another video with the electrical guide.